The moment magnitude scale is used by seismologists to measure the size of earthquakes in terms of the energy released. The magnitude is based on the seismic moment of the earthquake, which is equal to the rigidity of the earth multiplied by the average amount of slip on the fault and the size of the area that slipped. The scale was developed in the 1970s to succeed the 1930s era Richter magnitude scale. Even though the formulae are different, the new scale retains a similar continuum of magnitude values to that defined by the older one. The MMS is now the scale used to estimate magnitudes for all modern large earthquakes by the United States Geological Survey. Popular press reports of earthquake magnitude usually fail to distinguish between magnitude scales, and are often reported as Richter magnitudes when the reported magnitude is a moment magnitude, because the scales are intended to report the same results within their applicable conditions, the confusion is minor. Historical Context the Richter scale, a former measure of earthquake magnitude in 1935, Charles Richter and Benner Gutenberg developed the local magnitude with the goal of quantifying medium-sized earthquakes in Southern California. This scale was based on the ground motion measured by a particular type of seismometer at a distance of 100 kilometers from the earthquakes. Epicenter. Because of this, there is an upper limit on the highest measurable magnitude, and all large earthquakes will tend to have a local magnitude of around 7. Further, the magnitude becomes unreliable for measurements taken at a distance of more than about 600 km from the epicenter. Since this ML scale was simple to use and corresponded well with the damage which was observed, it was extremely useful for engineering earthquake-resistant structures, and gained common acceptance. The modified Richter scale Although the Richter scale represented a major step forward, it was not as effective for characterizing some classes of quakes. As a result, Werner Gutenberg expanded Richter's work to consider earthquakes detected at distant locations. For such large distances the higher frequency vibrations are attenuated and seismic surface waves are dominated by waves with a period of 20 seconds. Their magnitude was assigned a surface wave magnitude scale. Gutenberg also combined compressional P waves and the transverse S waves to create a body wave magnitude scale, measured for periods between 1 and 10 seconds. Ultimately Gutenberg and Richter collaborated to produce a combined scale which was able to estimate the energy released by an earthquake in terms of Gutenberg's surface wave magnitude scale. Correcting weaknesses of the modified Richter scale The Richter scale, as modified, was successfully applied to characterize localities. This enabled local building codes to establish standards for buildings which were earthquake-resistant. However a series of quakes were poorly handled by the modified Richter scale. This series of great earthquakes included faults that broke along a line of up to 1,000 kilometers. Examples include the 1952 Aleutian Fox Islands quake and the 1960 Chilean quake, both of which broke faults approaching 1,000 kilometers. The MS scale was unable to characterize these great earthquakes accurately. The difficulties with use of MS in characterizing the quake resulted from the size of these earthquakes. Great quakes produced 20s waves such that MS was comparable to normal quakes, but also produced very long period waves which carried large amounts of energy. As a result, use of the modified Richter scale methodology to estimate earthquake energy was deficient at high energies. In 1972, Kai Itiaki, a professor of geophysics at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, introduced elastic dislocation theory to improve understanding of the earthquake mechanism. This theory proposed that the energy release from a quake is proportional to the surface area that breaks free, the average distance that the fault is displaced, and the rigidity of the material adjacent to the fault. This is found to correlate well with the seismologic readings from long-period seismographs. Hence the moment magnitude scale represented a major step forward in characterizing earthquakes. 
Current research Recent research related to the moment magnitude scale focuses on timely earthquake magnitude estimates allow for early warnings of earthquakes and tsunami. Such earthquake early warning systems are operating in Japan, Mexico, Romania, Taiwan, and Turkey and are being tested in the United States, Europe, and Asia. Such systems rely on a variety of analytic methods to attain an early estimate of the moment magnitude of a quake. Efforts are underway to extend the moment magnitude scale accuracy for high frequencies, which are important in localizing small quakes. Earthquakes below magnitude 3 scale poorly because the Earth attenuates high-frequency waves near the surface, making it difficult to resolve quakes smaller than 100 meters. By use of seismographs in deep wells this attenuation can be overcome. Definition The symbol for the moment magnitude scale is with the subscript meaning mechanical work accomplished. The moment magnitude is a dimensionless number defined by Hiru Kanamori, as where is the seismic moment in Dyn cm. The constant values in the equation are chosen to achieve consistency with the magnitude values produced by earlier scales, such as the local magnitude and the surface wave magnitude. Comparative energy released by two earthquakes as with the Richter scale, an increase of one step on this logarithmic scale corresponds to a 101.532 times increase in the amount of energy released, and an increase of two steps corresponds to a 103 equals 1000 times increase in energy. Thus, an earthquake of MW of 7.0 contains 1,000 times as much energy as one of 5.0 and about 32 times that of 6.0. The following formula, obtained by solving the previous equation for, allows one to assess the proportional difference in energy release between earthquakes of two different moment magnitudes, say in for example, an earthquake with a moment magnitude of 7.0 is approximately 5.62 times greater than a quake with moment magnitude 6.5. Radiated seismic energy. Potential energy is stored in the crust in the form of built-up stress. During an earthquake, this stored energy is transformed and results in cracks and deformation in rocks. Heat. Radiated seismic energy. The seismic moment is a measure of the total amount of energy that is transformed during an earthquake. Only a small fraction of the seismic moment is converted into radiated seismic energy, which is what seismographs register. Using the estimate Choi and Bo tried to find in 1995 the energy magnitude where is in NM, nuclear explosions. The energy released by nuclear weapons is traditionally expressed in terms of the energy stored in a kiloton or megaton of the conventional explosive, trinitrotoluene, a rule of thumb equivalence from seismology used in the study of nuclear proliferation asserts that a one kiloton nuclear explosion creates a seismic signal with a magnitude of approximately 4.0. This in turn leads to the equation where is the mass of the explosive TNT that is quoted for comparison. Such comparison figures are not very meaningful. As with earthquakes, during an underground explosion of a nuclear weapon, only a small fraction of the total amount of energy released ends up being radiated as seismic waves. Therefore, a seismic efficiency needs to be chosen for the bomb that is being quoted in this comparison. Using the conventional specific energy of TNT, the above formula implies that about 0.5% of the bomb's energy is converted into radiated seismic energy. For real underground nuclear tests, the actual seismic efficiency achieved varies significantly and depends on the site and design parameters of the test. Comparison with Richter scale, the moment magnitude while maintaining consistency. Thus, for medium-sized earthquakes, the moment magnitude values should be similar to Richter values. That is, a magnitude 5.0 earthquake will be about a 5.0 on both scales. This scale was based on the physical properties of the earthquake, specifically the seismic moment. 
Rather, magnitude scales are used to estimate with one number the size of the quake. The following table compares magnitudes towards the upper end of the Richter scale for major Californian earthquakes.